can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool, and you're encroaching on my personal space. Where can I get a Shreedman port? What's that? An interface which allows humans to talk to computers. Like a mouse, you mean? No, it's a surgically implanted slot. Say, I've heard of those things. They give them to perverts, don't they? Are you a pervert? Certainly not. But you sure look like one. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces. Where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sooner to die than dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you've got the poise of a wildebeest on a waltzer. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. It's a holographic projector. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fashion ops. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. I want a Schriebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor, and she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door. I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh, why didn't you say so before? Good grief. Excuse me. Make me jump like that! Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Shreedman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles? What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? 
I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. Let's forget about the Shreveman port. As you wish. Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc. I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you.
Don't fall over the edge, Joey. Do you think I'm that stupid? Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, huh? Just to use an elevator? Hey man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help you. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burt. The ghoul, huh? He's cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Come on, Joey. This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done. Ultar, written in crayon. 
Lovecraft's Locker. No name on this one. Belongs to someone called Goddard. Reich. Belongs to someone called Cole. It's the Link Interface. And I don't like the look of it at all.